Alrighty, so welcome to, well, depending on the day, um, the Lashat Lee principal video for my chemistry courses. Again, um, I know I've been saying this inside um, and outside the classroom, but it's imperative that you're paying attention to this video. I know that I am currently not here in the room, but it is still really important that we do this so you are on pace for the rest of the unit, okay? There is a portion in this video where I'm gonna kinda of cut and there's gonna be some points where I pause to give you guys a chance to think about the problems, but without further ado, we all need to talk about a new topic this school year, which is Le Chatelier's Principle. Um, Le Chatelier's Principle is actually one of the fundamental parts of this unit. Um, on Monday, uh, when I come back from state, um, we're gonna be doing a lab on this, okay? So if this doesn't go well right now, that's okay, but let's give it our best first shot. And yes, I'm talking to you, Sam, Orlando, said Lolly, you know who I'm talking to. So, without further ado, Le Chatelier's principle, what the heck is it? Uh, Le Chatelier's principle states that when a system at equilibrium is subjected to a stress, okay? When a reaction is stressed out, it's going to relieve that stress, okay? In English, it's gonna fix it. Just like you, reactions don't like to be quote unquote stressed out, you know? I'm stressed out with this video, you know, because I wanna make sure that you guys aren't losing two days of material with me because I'm not there. You should be stressed out for that too because you don't want me coming back and rushing the last week of material right before the semester exams. That's not cool to you and I'm not happy and I don't wanna do that to you. And again, we're going to do things that unstress us. For example, this video is helping me unstress. I am going to be doing this video as a way to kind of help me out and, more importantly, help you out, okay? If we weren't talking about chemistry, right? Let's say you had a lot of homework one weekend or there's a lot of family drama or, again, that whole James Charles thing is probably stressing you guys all out. I don't know. But you're going to try to fix it, whether that is exercising to take your mind off things, listening to music, writing, drawing, sleeping, eating, crying, talking to friends, any of those things, just letting it happen. Those are gonna be ways we're gonna relieve that stress as well. So again, this is just a chemistry's version of doing that. Founded by French chemist, the Chambier, um, this fine gentleman here, who is really, really stressed out. But you're probably wondering, as you should be, how do you stress a reaction out? You know, as humans, there's a lot of things I could do to stress you out, right? I could give you more homework. I could remove time from you. I could remove money. I could cause drama, you know? And there's a lot of parts of the school year where I'm sure you've been stressed with projects, you know, projects going on, sporting events going on, choir concerts, band concerts. You have a wedding to go to a quinceanera to plan for, you have to be in a quinceanera, you have to go to a quinceanera. There's a whole lot of things. But they all come down to a few general things, all right? How do you assess a chemical reaction out? Just a few ways to do that. One, you add things. For example, if I add projects, if I add homework to your load, that's gonna stress you out, okay? If I just give you more things to do in general, that's gonna stress you out. If you have a job, imagine your employer having you do something, you're used to doing it, and all of a sudden you're doing somebody else's job. Okay, let's say someone quits and you have to do their job too. That's stressful, right? Another thing. You would subtract things. For example, money. If I subtract money from you, that's going to be stressful because obviously you need money to do things, to live. You know, if you have a car payment or a phone payment that you need to make. You know, you want to go out with your friends and do things. That's going to kind of mess things up. If I take away your time, you know what, final exam, it's going to be next week on Tuesday. That would stress you out if I was real about it. Those things kind of help it out. And the other two things are actually kind of self-intuitive. If you heat something, or cool it, that's going to stress out a reaction as well. 
and we'll talk a little bit more about that. Um, again, think of this as a way of what stresses him out. So, for example, let's say we have this reaction. Okay, we have these little blocks. We'll kind of just do it like that. Let's not worry about chemicals right now. There are ways to do this. Okay, for instance, I can gain or lose anything from here. Okay, if you gain, let's say these blocks. Let's say we gain three of them. That is a stress. This is a stress. And that is a bad thing. It is a bad thing for chemical reactions to be stressed. So, you have to think to yourself, what is this reaction going to do to go back to normal? That's what we're looking for. Normal is this. Here's what's going to happen. Okay, and this is one of the basic things with it. And here's one of the basic rules. If you gain more stuff, you gain things, you use them. That's one of the main rules. If I give you extra money, you're going to spend the money. If you're making the grilled cheese sandwich example that I've talked about a lot this semester, you're going to, if I give you more bread and cheese, you can make more grilled cheese. Or vice versa. If I give you a lot of you know, grilled cheese sandwiches already, you could break those down and get more grilled cheese out of it. So you could easily do that either way. And the other main thing that you can do is that if you lose stuff, you want it back. So, I'm going to pause, let you maybe write that for a few seconds, and then I'll keep going. Lana, make sure you're taking notes. Aureli, are you taking notes right now? Monica, are you taking notes? Edgar? Hopefully you are. And these are the two main rules. Okay, so what's going to happen here with this stress, right? If you gain more stuff, you're going to use that stuff. And with this stuff, the cool part is you're going to be able to make more. So here, there's nothing here. That's bad. It's just extra stuff. It, it's just going to sit there, right? Again, if you had a job, right, and you had, let's say you work at, um, let's say you work at Burger King, and you had like an extra box of buns. Well, that's not good. It's just wasted money, right? It's just sitting there. You're going to want to use those buns to make Whoppers or to make whatever chicken sandwiches you have. So when you're doing that, check it out. When you have it, you're going to use it. And if this breaks down into this, well, all you need to do to get this to feel better is break it apart and go this way. So here, these three bigger things are still going to break down it just so happens it's going to make three more of these. And that'll make it feel better. Right? That reaction is going to make more products. Because again, it doesn't want to use all this extra stuff. Okay? And again, I'm using what I have gained. I'm using what I have gained. And that is a very big also, on the other side, if I take stuff away, you want it back, right? For example, 
These are the bun cakes, okay, that choir sells. These are delicious. Shameless plug, all the choir students, okay? These are delicious, okay? And I will buy these next year, multiple. So come talk to me. This is somebody's. I took it from them. Do you think they want it back? Yes, they do. Okay, matter of fact, uh, Sanaya, this is yours, actually, so um, it's in this drawer, the second one, so you can come get it right now. It's literally right here. So, I'll have a fork in there for you, too, so you can eat it, but that one's yours, actually. Sorry. And that's really the big thing, okay? Again, Le Chalier's is 100% focused on fixing the stress. We want to fix it. Again, you don't like being stressed. Reactions don't like being stressed. And it is finals time, right? We know for a fact it's a stressful time of the school year, right? It's stressful for you because you have to take multiple finals in a th short window. And heck, if you have a fifth hour final, you have to take all the finals in two days. That's stressful too. It's stressful for me. I have to grade all the finals, make sure everything's updated, bunch of retakes I'm still grading. I have to make sure the room is clean, all my technology is taken care of. I have to check out and do multiple sign outs, you know, and not to mention numerous things going on next week, right? I have a sports banquet to go to, a cross country meeting probably is gonna come up, I'm going to honors night, I have graduation, and I wanna be there for my students and tutor. You know, it's a busy time of year. It's stressful. You know, but there's things we can do to make it feel better, okay? Like, for example, I'm a little stressed right now shooting this video, okay? It's uh, Tuesday right now. I'm gonna probably be seeing the new Detective Pikachu movie with my wife. That's something that we both need to do. She's stressed with her thesis, I'm stressed with making sure these videos are made and uploaded. Alvaro Garcia, if you're still in the building, your ride is waiting for you at door one. Alvaro Garcia, your ride is waiting at door one. I'll be surprised if you didn't laugh as a class with that. Um, so I'm still at the school, obviously. Um, but again, that's what we're gonna do. So let's look at actually some problems, okay? Let's say you had some chemical reactions. Um, as a refresher, as a refresher, um, if you have an exo or endothermic reaction, okay, this is a little bit from last unit, some things to kind of watch out for. First off, an exo, okay, the heat is released. And in endo, the heat is gain. Which means if it's released, it's being made, it's a product, it's going out, and if it's being absorbed, it's a reactant. So when you see something like this, A, plus B, C plus D, plus heat, you know that this is XO. But if it's A plus B, C plus D, and it's the heat over here, that is going to be endothermic. This is something that got some of you on the tests, both classes, both groups. So that would be a little bit of a reminder. And again, our main themes, okay? If we gain it, we use it. If we lose it, we want it back. Okay, very, very, Important and it answers everything we're going to talk about. So, here's a reaction um, just to balance it uh, for us because why not? Two, two, one, one. Because it's positive, it's endo. Endothermic gaining energy. The heat's going to be over here. This one, it's XO, because it's negative, negative 350.2. This is going to be the heat over here. 
Also, uh, by the way, please keep this in mind, these problems are in front of you right now, okay? On that half sheet, it's on the back side. So your notes are on the half, the half sheet is gonna be on the front, okay? So these notes are for you and are there for you. Just as a quick reminder, both classes. And to balance this one, oh, one, one, one. So, let's do a few things to it. Let's mess it up, okay? Let's mess it up. So one of the things we can do is we can gain or lose something, okay? So there is a student here with me right now randomly doing, I don't know, work. Which of these things would you like to mess with? The first one. The first one, KI. Do you want to gain or lose it? Gain. Okay, let's gain. So the reaction is going to go that way or that way. So which way is it going to go to fix itself, okay? We gain some of it. Here's the rule of thumb. If we gain some of this, we're gonna use it. And if you're gaining a reactant, you're gonna use it to make more products. So in this case, with potassium iodide, it's gonna be used to make this stuff. So, the answer is to the right. If we gain KCl, if we gain KCl, we're going to gain this. And because the reactions can go both ways, I can go backwards. I'm going to use this to make this. So if you gain something, even if it's a product, you're going to use that to make the reactants. And that works every single time. If you even gain heat. Okay, I, I heat it, I put it in an oven, I hit it with a flamethrower, I hot water bath, okay, something like that. Heat, heat is way over here. It's a reactant in this case. And if I gain it, I'm going to use it. So in this case, if I use this, it's going to be used to make more of this. So it's going to go this way. So if you gain something, it's going the opposite way. Because it's going to use that extra resource, right? If you get extra stuff, you're going to use it. What about the other thing? What if I lose stuff? Well, if you lose something, let's say I lose some uh, BAO, and in this case, let's say I lose some BAO2. Well, when you lose something, you want it back, right? I lost my flash drive over the summer. I've told you guys in class, you know, that freaked me out. That was bad. That was a week of my life where I was trying to fix a flash drive. It had broken into three pieces. There was nothing I could do. And when I found out what I could do to save it, it was gonna cost me $2,500 to get one flash drive fixed. It was at that moment where I realized it wasn't worth it anymore. But I spent a week of my life trying to figure out a broken flash drive. One. It's kind of crazy. And again, if you lose money, you're gonna want it back. You know, if you go home and you're like, where's my extra ice cream cone? And you find out your little brother and sister has it, you're going to want that back too. You know, ice cream delicious, right? Yeah. Yeah. All right. There we go. So in this case, we're going to want it back. So if I lose BAO, I need to go make more BAO. And how do you make more barium oxide? You go this way. This is on the right side of the equation. So in this case, you're going to go that way and make more. And if you lose this, I need to go this way and make more of that. And it's for this reason that heat works the same way. Heat, uh, let's say I lose heat or I cool it, um, I'm also going to say cool it, okay, because that's the same thing. 
Well, if I'm losing heat and heat's over here, I want it back. You know, if you go outside and it's really cold, you normally go inside and grab a coat, right? You gotta compensate for that. So I'm gonna go this way and cover that loss. If I lose heat, I'm going this way to make more of it. So, the big thing with Le Chatelier's principle is if you're going to have a stress, you are going to fix it. If you have an issue when you gained a stress, you are going to go the opposite way to compensate for that. If I gave you more buns, you can make more sandwiches. If you lose something, you're going to go the same direction to fix it, right? You don't want to make it worse. You know, if I lose 50 bucks, I'm not going to go throwing money on the ground. I'm going to try to find my $50. Same kind of thing. And again, that works with heat as well. Again, just as a reminder, you do need to remember this. So, what I'm going to do a little bit, um, I'm going to throw some problems up, okay? You guys are going to work on them for a few seconds each, okay? Then we'll kind of wind this video down a little bit, and we'll kind of go from there. Um, so, let's say here that we gain HCl, and we lose Cl2. I'll give you guys a few seconds to solve those problems. And try them out, okay? No one's gonna check to see if you have this right or wrong. Try them, okay? Again, it's very important that we're on point right now. If you're not doing these problems, I will crab dab on camera right now. And that'll be really embarrassing for everybody involved. So John, Hugo, Kevin, Ashley, Roberto. All right, cool. That should have been enough time. Again, if we gain a product, we have too much of it. So we're going to go this way and fix it. So this one is gonna go this way. We have more stuff, we're gonna use it. And we're gonna make more of the reactants. However, with chlorine, because we lost a reactant, we need to go that way and make more of it. Losing's back. we heat it, which way is it going to go? And if we gain N2, which way is it going to go? So Jose, Evelyn, Jasmine, Moises, Moises, the unicorn person, third hour, Max, Christian, What's going to happen there? If you heat it, you need to know what side the heat is on. Because this is exothermic, heat is being released. It's losing energy. So the heat's over here. 
because the heat is over here, and I gained it, because I'm heating it right, when you heat something it gets warmer, this reaction is going to go the opposite way and use what it has gained. So this reaction is going this way. And for that same reason, when you gain N2, it's going to go this way and compensate for that. And the last two I want to talk about are if you have a catalyst, that's something that we had from the lab on Wednesday. Um, so depending on what day this video is being shown, uh, some of you are going to watch it Thursday, some of you are going to watch it Friday. Um, that's going to be from here. Or if I add hydrogen. Let's think about this for a second, okay? First and foremost, talking about the hydrogen, there is no hydrogen. You know, there is no H here. So if there's no H here, it's not affecting it. It's not a stress. There is no H in this reaction. This is not a stress at all. So it doesn't do anything. So that's really chill. And because a catalyst speeds up a reaction by lowering the activation energy, by, by providing that different pathway, a catalyst is a good thing. It makes things go faster. So a catalyst also doesn't do anything. This is not a stress. So, you right now have a half sheet you could be working on, um, and we can kind of go from there. So you guys have an opportunity to practice. It's not that big, it's not that many, but really kind of think about, again, the core ideas are, you're gonna gain it, you're gonna use it, and you're gonna go the opposite way, and if you're losing it, you're gonna make up that chemical, and you need to go that way to make more. Again, losing something is a bad thing. Um, this is where um, periods one, six, and seven, my regular classes, stop the video. Okay, you don't need the rest. For the rest of it, okay, I have a quick practice problem with magnet. We're gonna get through this thing really fast. Okay, I wanted to talk about that X value a little bit. Okay, so we have H2 gas plus Cl2 gas, and we're going to make two moles of hydrochloric acid aqueous, okay? Um, again, ice diagram, ice diagram. Um, if we have beginning concentrations of 0 0.2 and 0 0.5, but I know the ending concentration um, here is 0 0.1, we can actually start doing some cool stuff with X. So, just to go through this very quickly, this is zero because there is none, which means this is gonna be two X, this is losing X, this is losing X. The cool part is, if I know that 0 0.2 minus X is 0 0.1, that means that X is 0 0.1, which means 0.5 minus 0 0.1 is 0 0.4, 0 0.2 plus 2x, which is 2 times 0 0.1, is 0 0.2. And what's going to happen is your Kc equation, HCl squared, H2, Cl2, you're going to be set with 0.2 squared, 0 0.1, 0.4 and I trust 